Welcome back everyone. You may be having an issue where for some reason you keep getting this Apple ID verification failed thing, an unknown error occurred, whatever this other thing says. Pretty much it's a really easy fix and after scrolling through many different sources, Safari, Apple Forms, all this stuff, typically the number one reason why this happens, there's two different reasons basically. It's a network connection problem where the date and time settings of your iPhone is messed up and then there's a couple other things you can pretty much fix at that point too. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go and make your way over to your settings like this and you want to scroll down into your general settings which is right here. So you want to click there and then you want to go to date and time which is right here. So you want to click on date and time and right here you want to make sure this is set on automatically or the time zone that you're in is appropriate to where you exactly are. If you're in the United States and you set your time zone to be in totally different places, it's probably not going to work out well. So, so you want to make sure the time zone that you're in is set to whatever wherever you are or you can set it to automatically. That's probably what I'd recommend doing. And then you want to go through and try logging in or try doing what you're doing again. Typically, this probably will end up fixing it. If it fixes it, then you're set. If it doesn't fix it, you want to make sure your network connections and all that stuff are set properly. Because if they're not, then you're not going to be able to even transmit any, you know, Wi-Fi or signal or anything. So you want to make your way over to your settings again. You want to connect to a proper Wi-Fi or cell connection. They should be automatic at this point. And you can make your way back over to any other website. So let's say we go to Apple. We just want to see how long it takes us to load up, you know, a website like Apple.com. So you can see it didn't take a super long amount of time. If we click on things, you can see it takes, you know, a typical amount of time. Definitely not super, super fast, but typically what we'd expect. So if you're seeing that everything is loading up fine, then maybe it's not a network connection problem either that's causing this. You also want to double check the password that you're typing in as well, as well as the username. You want to make sure none of those things have been tampered with. You want to make sure those specific things actually do have proper, you know, their an iCloud associated account. And as long as those things are set, then you should be good to go in this standpoint. Now the next thing you could probably do is try updating your iPhone. So you want to go back into your settings like this. You want to click on general and you want to click on software update. And all you want to do is you just want to update your iPhone to the most recent version of software that's available. Like I mentioned, if you're on a super outdated version of iOS, maybe for some reason that problem just kept persisting on that software version and Apple went ahead and pushed out a fix anyway. So you want to go ahead, update your specific phone like this, go here, update to it, and you should be good to go for the most part at this point. If for some reason you're still having issues, I would recommend restarting your phone, rebooting it, and maybe even contacting Apple, but typically it should be fixed as of this point. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.